Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys how I make these cute little penguins. We're going to make a whole family of penguins here. Um, but I made this little guy here out of a kid child sock, or kid socks they call them at the, from the Dollar Tree, and this was made from a man's sock. I pretty much made these the same way that I did my snowman last year. The only difference is I know a lot of people were concerned with the rice and you know that some people said they have bugs or whatever. Um, I never had a problem with the rice but I figured this year we'll just do them a little bit different that way nobody has to worry about any of that. But you can by all means make these the same way if you like doing it with the rice which I really do. Uh, like I said I've never had a problem but this time we're going to do it with some fiber fill stuffing and then everyone can not worry about any of that. So let me move these little guys to the side here. So what you're going to need, I picked up these socks and I put them at the Dollar Tree. Um, I got a pack of the kids socks. Now you get three pairs in here so you can make six little penguins out of this if you want to. And then the same with the men's socks. Um, they come three in a pack. Sometimes you can find three in a pack. Sometimes they're two but the, the last ones that I found, they've all been three pairs, which is great for a dollar. So you could make six of the big ones, too, out of that. So we're going to do a big one here because they're both made exactly the same way. I'm just going to show you the different way I made the hats, but basically everything else is the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your men's sock, and like right here where the heel is, you're going to cut that right across and get rid of that top piece. And it doesn't have to be a perfect cut, you know, just kind of make it straight. Alright, and so what I used in this is I took some of the rocks. These rocks, I just threw in this bag. These are from Dollar Tree. Or you can use anything you want to, but you really, if you're going to use the stuffing, you really need something in the bottom to, you know, like weight them a little bit so they don't fall over. So I just took like two handfuls of these rocks. Um, I didn't really measure it. I just grabbed a, a good amount here and just put them right down on the bottom. Like I said, you can like, use anything you want. If you know you have something else that you can use to weight them down, well, that'll be fine, too. You don't want your penguin toppling over. And then I have this fiber fill here. Now this, this is called Classic Fiber. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is a 20-ounce bag. You can get this stuff at uh, Walmart or anywhere, some of this fiber fill stuffing, but I've had this a long time. It was a huge bag. So, you're just going to want to take some stuffing, and you want to stuff these so they're really packed in pretty good. So, I just start shoving it in there. I'm trying to do this a little quicker here, because sometimes this may take a little bit, so you get it in there just right. I'm not sure exactly how much. You'll kind of know, you know, once it gets nice and firm so you can work with it and make the head and everything. But of course the men's sock, you know, take a little bit more of the fiber fill than you will with the smaller ones. So I think that's pretty good. Maybe I'll just add this last piece I got here just for good measure. And then you want it to be pretty close up there to the top and just really shove that in there. Now to tie this off, you can use any kind of string that you might have because you're not going to see this um, when it's done anyway. So it really doesn't make any difference what color it is or what kind it is. I have this jute string from Dollar Tree that I'm going to use. And then I'm just going to push that stuffing down in there. And then we're just going to take this here. And I like to loop it around once first to get a good grip on it just like that, and then just knot it. And I always do three just to be on the safe side. And that's that. That is how you make the body of this. So now you're just going to kind of want to straighten it up again until it's, you know, pretty much back into the sock shape there. And then I like to go not a little more than halfway up to do the head. So you kind of want to figure out how big you want your little head, because you're going to need some room on here for the hat and everything. So I'm going to cut a little bit more of this off. There we go. And then take another piece of your string. 
And then you're just going to wrap that around. I think that's good right there. And it's just, you don't want to pull it in too tight, but you want to make it enough so, you know, that you can tell that it's the, the neck of this baby here. And then just tie that off the same way. And this, again, you're not going to see this when we're done. This string's going to be covered. All right, so that is that. Now, you're going to need a piece of white felt, and you're going to need a piece of black felt. Now, this I got in a pack, I think, from the Dollar Tree, actually. And this was just some felt, I think. I don't know if this was from Michael's Hobby Lobby, but you can get that pretty much anywhere, too, Walmart or whatever. Um, so to make this little shape here for his front, I just took a piece of paper. Actually, I made a pattern here. And this is a piece of cardstock, which is the easiest thing to make a pattern with. So then if you want to make more, whoops, sorry. If you want to make more of these, then you just have your pattern all set. Three and a quarter inches wide. And this just makes it easier to kind of judge. And then four and a half inches tall. So I'm going to go right here. No, that's not going to work out too well, but... All right, let's see if I can get this somewhat straight, because I have this little piece of paper I'm trying to use up here. And you just make this little square like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. This just kind of gives you the general size that you want to make your, your body shape. So then all I did with that is I cut that out. This may come out a little bit smaller because... Count that little extra piece and then I just folded it in half and the thing in the center the best way I can describe it is to cut out a little chubby snowman and that is the inside of the thing so you just kind of got to mess with it a little bit um, like I said I don't have a pattern for this or anything I just kind of cut around it here like this now this one's gonna look nothing like I want it to but and then just go down wider on the bottom and then you can kind of tweak it as you go here and make it a little bit nicer until it kind of looks like a snowman. The top doesn't have to be perfectly round because that gets covered with the hat. So if you come out with something that looks just like that, and that is what is going to go on here. So that being said, like I said, you just kind of got to mess around with it until you get the exact shape. But that is my best way to explain it is just to make a snowman. So then we're going to take this and then just, this is what's great about it, you put on the cardstock and then you have a pattern and you can just make a whole bunch of these if you want to. I just trace it out here like so. And then just cut that out. It did take me a couple tries the first time to, you know, get it to the right size. But once you have it and you have your pattern, then it's, you know, easy going from there. So that's it. And it can be flat on the bottom, too. That really doesn't make much of a difference. Um, so there. That is the... Let me get some of this black off the edge here. That is the body of our little penguin. So that is going to go right here. Now for in here in the neck so it doesn't um, bunch up on you, you just want to make a couple little slits in here. Not too much, maybe like a half inch little slit. That way when you get that on there, like this, just kind of eyeball it here how you want it. And I like to start with the face. And then you're just going to glue that on. I'm just going to take some hot glue around the edge. I don't want to get it too close to the edge. You don't want it all over your material. And then we're just going to put on this little face right there. And then down here, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do this a little bit at a time now, so I don't... I just want to make sure you're going straight here. That looks good. All right. And then just go around the edge of your thing, and then you can, you know, if you have any little gaps, you can 
glue those down after. But you don't want to use too much glue in there because you don't want to get it all over the sock. Let's see, there's a couple little bunches here. Glue that down. See, I'm getting on the sock. There we go. Now, it doesn't look like much right now. <laughs> but you'll see, this is going to be wonderful. Alright, so that is that. And that's all you got to do for his little body. And there's a couple spots I need to glue down, but we'll get that after. Alright, so now the next thing you want to do is figure out what you want to make for the... what do you want to use for your hat. Now I'm going to use, for this one, I'm going to use a scarf from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've seen these out now. Or you could use, for the little guy here, I use this sock. You can get these at the Dollar Tree too. They have all different kinds. Um, but that's what I use for him. I really prefer using the scarves. It's much easier to work with. But now for his hat, which is really easy. i got to sit down here now so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, let me get some of this stuff out of my way. And I like to get the hat done first. That way I can see um, where I want everything. Like his eyes and stuff. So the first thing I did is I cut these little um, tassels off of here because you don't need these. They're kind of spaced too far apart anyway. And then I measured this to about, I'm going to say it's about 8 inches. Um, yeah, I think that would be about right. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect either, like I said. Just try to get yourself a nice straight line. But 8 inches is good for this because you're going to be cutting some of it off. And that is that piece. And now for the scarf, um, I really didn't measure that too much. I just kind of... So it's going to be folded over, I'd say maybe about an inch, let's see. Yes, so I would cut this 3 inches on for the scarf. And luckily, this width here, it fits perfectly around the edge, so we're going to do 3 inches for the scarf. And then this piece here, I'm going to cut, which is probably, you know, like maybe an inch and a half. So we're going to use this for the part of the scarf that's going to hang down. Alright, so that's going to be our hangy part. This is our scarf. And then you have all of this left to make a bunch more of these. I think you can make, I think, at least five out of one scarf. Alright, so now you're going to take this, you know, with your cut edges right here, and then we're going to fold this up to make a little brim for the hat. So I like to fold it over. It's probably about a half an inch. And then add a little bit of hot glue to that. I'm not going to go too close to the edge so I don't burn my fingers. And then fold that up again. I hope you guys could see that right. Maybe if I do it this way. I don't really measure these. I try to just make them even. But I'd say that's about a half an inch. Add a little bit of glue to that. And just keep it away from your fingers when you're doing it. And then just fold it over and glue it down. nice finished little rim for the hat. Almost got too close to the edge there. All right, let's not burn the fingers here first thing today. All right. Oh, I got a little glue on there. Well, oh, that's going in the back, so hopefully we can cover that up. Because glue does not come off these things very easily. All right, so now you're going to take this part with your um, piece that you just folded up, put that on the inside, like so. Fold it in half again. And then we're going to glue up this side. All the way from the bottom. I'm going to need more glue. You go all the way from the bottom, all the way up to the top. And then you're just going to glue that down. Or if you want, you can go ahead and sew these together that way. Either way works fine. 
All right, so we're going to let that cool for a second. Now for the scarf, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this half here and fold it in about halfway. And then I'm just going to run a bead of glue down here. Like that, and then just bring this side over to the center there, because you want this on the inside so you don't see any of the seams. And that's our three inch piece that we cut for the scarf. And there we go. And that will be our scarf. And then you can go ahead and put these on as you're making them here while I'm waiting for the glue to dry there so I can turn that other one inside out. Now for the back of this one, what I did, so it makes it look like it's a nice seam for the back of the scarf, is fold this over. So you're going to glue this end down. Fold that over carefully. So you're not touching the glue. And then we're going to put that right down there on top of this one. Just give it a nice tug so it's nice and tight. And after you get your fingers out of the way, you can kind of do that a little bit better. Right, let me hold that a second. So that's going to be our scarf. And that also is going to go up enough so we don't have to worry about making some kind of weird mouth or anything. Um, it's kind of the scarf goes up over his little mouth. All right, come on, glue. There we go. All right. Now then for the other piece that we cut out, this inch wide one, this one is actually just going to get flipped right inside of here. Just like that. And we're not going to glue anything down yet, and then these we're going to cut off later to make them the right size. Okay, so now back to the hat. You're going to need another piece of string. These are so easy to make. Um, and we're going to just kind of put this on here to see how much I want to cut off, or where we want to tie it, I should say. So that is going to be where his little hat goes down to, just over the top of that. And then you can kind of see here, see I kind of made this a little shorter. You could cut these maybe about six inches, because um, I'm going to be wasting quite a bit here. So I think that'll be good for this hat, so I'm just going to tie that right here again. I love things that you don't have to sew, but I mean if you love to sew, that's different, but <laughs> I like easy peasy, you guys know that. And then we're going to knot that three times. And then you're going to go ahead again and cut all your excess off here. That's so why you want to make sure that knot's good and tight. All right, then we turn it over, and we have this little, little hat. So then we're going to go ahead and put this on. That way we can determine where we want his um, little face to be. And when you put the hat on, you kind of want to put it like right about there in the front. Whoops. And then in the back, it goes right down to meet the seam in the scarf. Now for his little tassel, I made one of those. These are really easy to make, too, if you guys haven't seen me make these before, or if you, you know, make them yourself. If you take a piece of yarn, you're going to need some, whatever color yarn you want, depending on what kind of hat you have. I usually tend to stick with just the white, because, you know, it goes with anything. And um, <clears throat> I'm just going to wrap that around my fingers here like 20 times. Whoops, if I get a hold of it. All right. We're going to cut that off. We're going to pinch these together and just kind of get a really good hold on them. And then right in the middle, you're just going to loop your piece that you cut off. And just get that right in the center, so it's kind of like a little bow, it looks like. 
and you're going to want to knot that real good. There we go. Get that out of my way and get the glue off my fingernail. So then what you're going to want to do is go through and cut all your loops open. Alright, I think I got him. Okay, so now that's kind of, you know, not great looking. So what you do is, I mean that's how they always look when you get them done. So I like to just pinch them all up this way and then just trim them a, like a lot. Of, just get a lot of that off of there and then the more you take off really the fuller it will look. So you want to leave maybe like an inch of it. And then whoops and you have your little pom-pom and then you can just kind of trim them off wherever you see some that are too long. And there you go. And that is your little pom-pom for the hat. So we're just going to put some hot glue on the bottom here. And we're going to stick it right up there on top of this little head. Now this one I'm going to make go up straight. This other one I kind of like took it and I pinched it over. Whoops. Get back on there. I um, well, Let me show you on this one so I don't pull that off again. Make sure I got enough glue there since I dropped them. There we go. Um, this one I just kind of pulled it over a little bit to the side and I put a little bit of hot glue under here. So it kind of went this way. This one I'm going to leave straight up just because I want this one to be a little bit different. All right, now for the face, like I said, we're not going to glue any of this other stuff down quite yet until we're all finished with all, you know, where you want to place everything. So there's glue off my finger here. Okay, I'll get this out of my way. Now for the eyes, I on the little guy here, I used these um, little gemstones. I don't know what size these are. I don't even know how to tell you. I would say these are maybe the 8 millimeter. I'm, I'm pretty sure size. Um, it doesn't say on here, which is sad. But I got these at Michael's, and they're um, the recollections. These are like in where the stickers and things are. So I have a pack of these, and you're only going to need two of these. So like I said, you can make a ton out of anything here of these little guys. And then, um, for the bigger guys here, for the mama and the papa, I use these, and these are just called bling stickers, and I would say these are probably a, a 10 millimeter size. Um, it doesn't say, but I just love the way these kind of really shine. So we're going to use those for the eyes. And I always add a little hot glue to these because I just don't know how well the um, sticker stuff is going to stick. So we're just going to go ahead, add a dot of this hot glue here, and put these right on, right under the rim of the hat. That's it. I did the same thing. Like I said, everything I'm doing with this one, I did exactly the same for the one with the, using the child's, uh, the kids' socks. So they're all done the same way. All right. Now, because see, this one's going to have to come up just a little bit higher once we get his nose on. Now, for the noses, this is what I like to use. This is what I used on my snowmen last year, and these are the earplugs from the Dollar Tree. You get four pairs in here, and you can make um, four of these little penguin beaks out of just one of these earplugs. Oh my god, I can't get this glue off me. There we go. Now to make these beaks, which I did exactly the same for both, is I cut it in half. Let's see if I can do this in half here now that I'm... Cut them in half, and then cut them in half again. And then the one side already has kind of like this beaky looking look to it. But you just want to trim it down just a little bit to make it more like a little 
I don't know, like a kind of like a point to it. And this ends a little bit thicker, so I thin that out just a little bit, and then just cut that down into a point too. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So then we're gonna just fold that in half, and you have your little beak. So I just put a little bit of glue right in the middle here, just to hold that together. You don't want to get it up towards the end because you want it to be open, so it looks like he's got a little yappy beak. All right, let's see. All right, I think that'll be good. And then you just need a little bit of hot glue on the end of that and put that right below his eyes there, right here. And there you have your little beak. I might trim that a little more. That bottom one doesn't look quite right. Like I said, I mess around with them a little bit. and There you go. And these worked great for the little snowman last year, too. So, I mean, if you get a pack of these, you can make, like, a whole bunch of things with it. For a dollar. That's why I love the Dollar Tree. All right, so that is where I'm going to want his scarf to land. I'm just going to tack it down here and there. Um, you don't have to do it all the way around. Just to kind of keep it in place. And then we, now that we have our hat in the right place, we can tack that down here in the back. It kind of makes the seams match. I can't believe I got glue on here. I'll pick that off later. It can come off. It's just a pain in the neck when it gets on the fabric. So you really want to get this on the inside. All right, so that is good enough for that. And now I want to tack this right down here in the front. So it stays there, right over his eyes. All right. So now what I did for his little cheeks is I have some blush. And it's any old blush. You can use blush. You could probably use a little bit of paint if you went really, really lightly with it. But this is just an old blush that I've used for all kinds of little um, faces that I do. That's all I use it for. And I just take my finger and just rub it on the blush and then just add a little bit to his cheeks. And there, now it's got little rosy cheeks. All right, so that's for... Well, this is, I think, is going to be Mama. I didn't have any other colored scarves. I haven't found them yet. I, I, they did have some scarves out, but nothing like with a real pretty girly color. But I am going to make a girly one, I think, um, sometime this year. So I wanted to get started on these. Last year I didn't get around to doing these, and I wanted to do them. Now I have some of these little um, snowflakes here. You could probably find something similar to this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something, or any kind of decoration. You can decorate these with any kind of you know holiday theme you want, or you can just make it a winter theme and keep these guys out all year long. But these I got from uh, I ordered on AliExpress last year. Um, haven't ordered anything since all this mess has been going on because this stuff all comes from China. But um, pretty much everything you find does. But anyway. I'm sure you can find something similar to this at maybe even Walmart. I don't know. I haven't been to Walmart in forever. But they have a lot of little cute little snowflake things out. All right, so we're going to leave those there. And then I thought on her scarf I was going to add a little star. This is one of the little wooden star stickers from the Dollar Tree. It came in a pack, I think, of 12 stickers or 14, I don't remember. Um, but it had these little silver stars. And the same with this guy here. What I used on there was um, these felt snowflake stickers from the Dollar Tree. So that was pretty cool. But I always take these off. So we're going to hot glue this on here to make sure it stays put. Alright, so now that I know where I really want this here, I'm going to tack this down just a little bit. There. And I'll tack this one down right there. Just a little bit up underneath, because you don't want to put too much, because we're still going to make his little wings to put on here. 
All right, and I'm going to put this star get that off, right where these two pieces overlap for the scarf. So that's just going to go right here. And it's either going to look Christmassy or it's going to look like a sheriff. But I don't want to say Christmassy. <laughs> All right, so now we can take this off. So this I'm going to cut up a little bit shorter. And this one I'm going to make up a little bit higher too. And on the ends here, you're just going to want to go ahead, make sure you guys can see, um, just go ahead and just like make some little slits into it. So it looks like the end of your scarf. So it kind of looks like little tassels on the bottom. And that's what's great with this, these scarves and things. They don't really fray much and, you know, they're really easy to work with. All right. See, he's nice and weighted here. He's not going to fall over. All right, now for his arms, let me show you quick what I did for his arms. Oh, and on these ones, this one actually here, the snowflake, I actually put a, um, one of those old gem stickers. These you get at the Dollar Tree, too. I just put one in the center there, and I put one in the center of the snowflake for this little guy. All right, sorry about that. My camera shut off again. I get busy and I forget that after a half an hour, this camera shuts off. So if I'm not paying attention, it shuts off on me and I just kept right on going and I made his little wings. But let me show you how I make these little wings here real quick. So you're gonna take a piece of your cardstock and you wanna measure up three and a half inches. So just make yourself a line right there. And then right around the center, you want to measure in one inch. It doesn't have to be perfectly placed or anything. Just make a little one inch mark, like so. So you measure up three and a half and then one inches over there. And then you're just going to kind of like cut out like a half moon. So you're going to start down here in your corner at your little point there and just cut it around until you get to your little one inch mark. And then just cut around until you get up to the top there. And that doesn't have to be cut around in a perfect thing. So that is how I made my little pattern for the wings. So then, let's see, oops, came out pretty close. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect, um, just so it kind of looks like this when you're done. So then take two pieces of your black felt, and I like to do cut both wings at the same time, it's just easier. Um, and just put that on top because it's really hard to see if you try to make a mark unless you have a white a white pencil to use or something and then just you know cut around that and you can kind of tweak it if you need to and that's it that is how I make his little wings all right now to put these on which I already did not knowing my camera was off is I just usually take these and I tuck them up under here and just kind of let them hang to see where you want them placed. Um, and then when you get them in the right spot, you just kind of want to go up underneath underneath the scarf and put a little bit of hot glue there and then glue it down. And then I like to put a, a dot of glue like right in the center here to hold it. I don't want this to be glued down because, you know, you kind of want that to stick up like his little wing. And the same thing on the other side with this one. So that is it. That is all I do for these little guys. And like I said, you can decorate them however you want to decorate them. Um, whatever kind of scarf you want to use or material, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can pretty much make them out of just regular fabric too if you want to do that. Make them the same way, their little hat and scarf. But that is pretty much the, you know, pretty much the basic thing that I did here. Now for this little guy, um, you can do the same thing with the scarf and stuff, but I decided to try this one with one of the socks. I don't have another one like this, but, I mean, you can get these um, little slipper socks pretty much anywhere. A lot of times you can get them at the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of different, um, you know, styles and stuff. So for this, I just cut it off at this little heel again. And then on this guy, I just turn this one right inside out. And we're going to just pinch this up at the top here with another piece of the jute string or whatever string you have. Like I said, you don't see any of this when it's done. So you're just going to pinch all those little ends together, wrap around your jute string, and give it a good, you know, 
good tug. Tie that really, really, really tight. And that's it for this. That's all you got to do pretty much to make this hat. Um, and then, you know, cut off your little ends here so you don't have too much underneath. And then you turn that right side out. And then you just put it on his little head. See, it'll straighten all out like this. And then once you put it on, you can just fold this up and make a little cuff if you want to. And then just tack that down with some glue. And that's what I did for this one. I just folded it up and tacked it down. And then I added a little pom-pom the same way as I did that one. And now for the scarf for this one is simple too. You just cut off this heel. And then I would say make it maybe like maybe an inch wide, maybe a little bit more, um, depending on how big you want it. And these are really cool because they fit perfectly right around his head and it slips right down over his neck. You don't have to do anything else to these. And then for the little hangy thing, I just cut another piece, you know, like a little, maybe a little over an inch. And then just cut that in half again. And then after it's around his little neck there, just like the other one, we we'll just bring it through and let that hang down. And there you have your little scarf for this guy. But that's it. That's how I made those. And these are kind of a little bit easier to make. Um, I don't know. This stuff's a little bit... It just so much of it frays off. But, you know, you just fold that under there and then you can put your little pom-pom and stuff on top. But that's all I did to make this little girl. Little girl, little boy, I don't know what she is or he is. And on my little snowflakes, I use those little gem stickers from the Dollar Tree, too. And that is it. That's all you have to do to make these cute little penguin family. So I'm going to clean up this mess. I will put a nice picture here at the end for you guys to see. And uh, that is it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little project. I want to get busy. I want to make a bunch more of these little guys for gifts this year. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone.